So I've got all of my colors filled in with my face and my hair and everything is completely done. So my hair, face, skin, eyes, nose, hair, everything completely done. Now if I turn off my picture, that looks pretty good. Um, but you can still see that there are a few uh, spots in the background where the light shines through. So what I would like for you to do is you're going to create a new layer. And this layer, we are going to call this layer, um, for right now, let's just call it a neutral, uh, a neutral layer. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this layer, we're going to move it all the way down to the bottom. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to pick a color. I don't care what color it is, but we're going to make it a solid color. So you're going to sit and take the opacity and turn it back up to 100%. And you're going to pick a color that you think complements your face. Now, we'll try a couple different ones here. So, for example, I'm going to try this blue. And I'm going to go behind and I'm going to paint. Oop, by the way, crank your brush all the way up. But I'm going to go through here, and as you can see, I am starting to fill in. And the blue looks pretty good. It is starting to bring out some of the colors in my face. Um, let me go back. Let's try a different one really quick and see what that looks like. Let's try somewhere in the orangey reds. All right, so I could go back there. Ooh, that one's also pretty interesting. All right, that one's not bad. Um, and then finally, let's try a green. All right, yeah, not a big fan of the green one. So um, I probably like this bluish color the best, so I'm going to go through here. And what you're going to do is you're literally going to sit here and take a minute and just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and you're going to paint underneath your entire project. Now, Around my lips, that looks a little cheesy, so I might have to go back and undo that to pick a different color from around my lips and mouth. But what you'll want to do is you're going to want to paint um, everything, and I have already done this for you. All right. Boop. All right, so that is what my neutral layer looks like. So that is the neutral layer I choose to do. You can see that your neutral layer doesn't need to be perfect. It's just going to be a solid layer that's behind all your other layer that adds a little interest. So let me turn this all on so you guys can see it start to build. And there you go. So that would be a completed project with a background not done yet, but all the layers are done and you've created what I would call a neutral layer to fill in all the white spaces on your project.